and roll. Sip and slide. Twist and shout. Whatever moves you, get away and awaken the fun. Play your perfect combination at the Chaga Resort Casino. Now at five, paid by the FBI, the federal reward now offered for information about a shooting. Plus, targeted by thieves, the neighborhood that's seen more than one home on their block turn into a crime scene. And knocking over poles, driving on the shoulder, and trying to shake the law. But it wasn't officers, actually, who got the drop on the driver of this stolen truck. The news at five starts right now. This is NBC4 News at five. And so we begin right now with that chase, amazing chase today. A man driving a truck reported to be stolen on the sidewalks, on lawns, everywhere he could he tried to escape officers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Annabelle is off. The chase started in Lakewood. It all eventually came to an end here in Alhambra. That driver pulled into this gas station multiple times. At one point, as you see, he jumped out, grabbed a bag before taking off again. NBC4's Alex Rozier joins us now from Alhambra, where it all finally came to an end. Alex. Yeah, it all ended right in front of this apartment complex, right back here. And we spoke with several people who watched this all play out. And they said that the driver of that stolen truck drove around this block several times. But at the end, he made a run for it. And all of that was caught on video. I want to show you that video right now. News Chopper 4 was overhead around 1245 when that driver took off running down Garfield and up McLean. And then it appeared someone attempted to make a citizen's arrest. We have cell phone video that shows what happened on the ground. A man placed the driver in a chair, but then you see a woman trying to intervene, apparently trying to free the driver, but it didn't work. Alhambra officers were on scene seconds later with guns drawn. They took the driver into custody, and we heard from one man who watched the chase end with that citizen's arrest. The man just grabbed him, kind of spun him around. There happened to be a broken down chair in the, in the lawn. He sat him on the chair and held him down. The girl was trying to get him to let him go. As we bring you back out live, you can see that broken down chair that we are referring to. But what an end to this chase. All of it happening right here on Garfield Avenue, which is a relatively busy street here in Alhambra. I will tell you that our newsroom has made calls to police trying to learn more about who this driver is and what charges he may be facing. At this point, we do not have that answer. When we have an answer, we will bring it to you. But for now, reporting live in Alhambra, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News. All right, Alex, thank you for that. Now, the FBI is offering a reward to find the person who tried to sabotage an electrical substation in Torrance. There have been several attacks on the electrical infrastructure and the grid all across California and the U.S., but authorities say it's still not clear if this one is connected to any of the others. Our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, joins us live from the newsroom with an update on this case. Eric. Hi, Colleen. Well, agents tell us it's too soon to know whether this very unusual incident in Torrance is connected in any way with those series of sabotage attacks on the U.S. power grid. And the FBI is now sharing images of the person they say is responsible for this one. The man in these images, taken from security video, is believed by the FBI to have tried to interrupt the electrical grid in Torrance. It happened last August. The feds say he tried to interfere with the systems at this Southern California Edison electrical substation by switching off several large circuit breakers and firing a gun at the transformers. Our country's critical infrastructure, including elect electrical infrastructure, uh, is a target for individuals that have an ideological motivation and wish to cause harm to our country. Assistant Special Agent in Charge Jason Dalton says it's an FBI counterterrorism investigation because any efforts to interfere with the national power grid fall under the FBI's umbrella and it's also a federal crime. In the Torrance case, the electrical system wasn't seriously damaged and power stayed on for customers. And because of the, the nature and the extent of the damage done to the facility, and the area that it covered, the electrical service that it provided, and the, call, and the uh, I guess, result had the uh, infrastructure failed, the result would have been uh, a large swath of people losing power. The FBI has been investigating the targeting of the power grid across the U.S. in recent years. In December 2022, vandals cut lines at three power stations in Washington state 